The woman from Texas is recognized. I yield to the gentleman from Idaho, the ranking member of the Energy and Water Subcommittee. The gentleman from Idaho is recognized. I thank the gentlewoman for yielding time. Mr. Speaker, today I rise in support of the fiscal year 2022 Omnibus Appropriations Bill, and particularly the Energy and Water Development and Related Agencies Appropriation Act. As ranking member of the subcommittee, I say to my colleagues, it is a strong bill and deserves bipartisan support. There are, of course, things I would have done differently had I been the only one writing the bill. I'm sure my chairwoman would, have say, would be able to say the same thing. But that's the nature of bipartisanship negotiations. Everyone has, a little, has to give a little in order to get what each needs most. First and foremost, this bill strongly supports our national nuclear security programs, providing $20.7 billion, which is an increase of almost $1 billion above fiscal year 2021 and above the Biden administration's budget request. This funding supports the maintenance and modernization of our nuclear weapons complex and supports the Navy's nuclear propulsion program. Harbor Maintenance Trust Fund activities at the Corps of Engineers are funded at more than $2 billion in, in accordance with the Water Resources Development Act of 2020. Efforts to guard our energy sector against cyber attacks are increased above last year and even above both House and Senate bills. The bill continues investments in a wide array of energy sources, including fossil energy, hydropower, energy storage, and one of my highest priorities, nuclear energy. The bill provides $1.65 billion for nuclear energy, including increased funding for the Advanced Small Modular Reactor Program, continued support for the Advanced Reactors Demonstration Programs, and initiation of a new program to ensure a domestic supply of high assay, low enriched uranium that will be necessary for many of the Advanced Reactor Design currently under development. Before I yield back, I'd like to note the hard work of our full committee uh, leadership, my ranking member Kay Granger as well as Chair DeLauro. Energy and Water Chairwoman Kaptur and I again worked well together with our Senate partners, Senator Feinstein and Senator Kennedy. Finally, I'd like to thank the staff on both sides of the aisle for their hard work to help bring this bill to completion. The majority staff, Jamie Schimmick, Scott McKee, Brian Smith, Michael Brain, Will Ostertag and Lauren Luck, and on the Republican side, Angie Giancarlo, and my personal, from my personal office, Sarah Cannon. The fiscal year 2022 Energy and Water Bill is a good bill, and I urge my colleagues to support it. Thank you, and I yield back.